Hi everyone, this is Steve Wagner, Demand Generation Manager for Sales Performance International. I'd like to talk with you today about better marketing and sales alignment, and specifically the marketing qualified lead to sales acceptable lead handoff process. I fully recommend that you have somebody dedicated and responsibilities to having phone conversations with MQLs as they're generated and turn them into really qualified SALs. And why is that important? Uh, I think you want to make sure you gain valuable market insight at the marketing level from that conversation and take, uh, that you can take and enhance uh, to, uh, to further uh, better refinement of your marketing qualified leads. I think you also want to make sure you understand the needs of the prospect, the MQL person, and really understand who the best salesperson within your organization would be the right fit for them instead of just the next sales rep in the rotation. So how do we go about and do that? Uh, number one, I think you want to make sure you have a structured phone call with every MQL that you generate. And you have a couple key uh, elements to that structured call. First and foremost, you want to identify the source. You may have marketing qualified leads come in from a varied, a myriad of different uh, lead generation sources. You want to make sure you uh, get that captured right off the bat from your prospects. You understand how they found you. Um, secondly, you want to really go into a, a deep dive of what their specific needs are. Uh, ask them specifically, how did you learn about us and how did you come and what are you looking for today? Um, walk through those things uh, and really fully understand them, asking better kind of qualifying questions and really really understand how that kind of uh, need or pain flows through the rest of the organization and makes uh, a negative impact. Um, you also want to make sure you cross off and, and capture the important data that you need in order to qualify that lead as someone you want to send over to a salesperson. Um, uh, you know, if, if it's the number of employees at, your, at the organization, if it's the number, uh, you know, the annual revenue or the, or the number of transactions that they make in a certain year, um, you want to make sure that you capture those things very clearly in order to get them into the right hands. Um, and then you also want to understand the decision time time frame and the, and the uh, decision making teams that the organization may have and how they're going to actually uh, go out purchasing your products and features and make sure you understand um, when they intend to narrow that field down and when they want to make a call and that way you can order uh, you can get that into um, uh, the right person's hands uh, from a forecasting perspective. Um, uh, be transparent during that call. Let them know right off the bat, I want to get you know, in, in touch with the right people within your organization. We want to make this the best overall buying experience for you. If you do that, you'll gain valuable market insight uh, that you can take back to your marketing team and you'll get those sellers uh, into the right positions with the right kind of prospects and have the least path of resistance to a sale. Thanks for your time.